Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So, I'm back with a new video and this video is specially based on all the comments that I have been getting about bachelors of architecture in Canada. Though I haven't been uh, in a lot of support of doing bachelors of architecture in Canada, but there were a lot of comments and I'm here to motivate you guys and to let you know about the cost of bachelors of architecture plus how to get admissions in bachelors of architecture plus the best universities to go for if you want to do bachelors of architecture from canada so guys this video will be a really informative video for all of you so try watching this video till the end and for the people who are here on my channel for the first time my name is saransh singh and i keep making such videos on regular basis so feel free to check out my other playlist also and guys without any delays let's get started with the video so guys let's get started with the requirements of bachelors of architecture so the first thing that you will require is your secondary education what secondary education means is your plus 2 or 12 standard mark sheets and you need to obtain these transcripts from your college or your universities whatever is relevant in your case and again the most important thing is you need to have at least 70% because all the universities that i checked needed minimum 70% and higher so the competition will be very high over here so try getting as high grade as possible in your 12th standard or your any secondary course that you are doing even if you are doing your uh, diploma course or any other course after 10th standard that will be considered as your secondary education so try getting high grades in those education and in those times and next part is your portfolio yes now everyone will be asking me like what will be there in the portfolio so guys you basically have to just show them your inclination towards architecture your artistic ability even if you are doing sketches drawings or anything you need to portray it in that portfolio you can refer to my videos of portfolio like you know how architectural drawings are how uh, architects present something you can even try your hands on different softwares basic softwares like sketchup make some models uh, make some hand models do some sketching about structure or something show them that you actually love architecture you are not not just taking it because you have nothing else to do or something like that so if they feel that you have the natural inclination towards architecture you have a good hand skill they will definitely accept that portfolio and they will value it and they might even send you an admission letter next part is if your transcripts or your results are into some other language so you have to get it notarized plus translated so these things are very important i think so in india most of us will be having an english transcript so we are safe in that way but uh, percentage portfolio and transcripts are very important factor plus you have to show them your financial document now people will be like what is financial document financial document is you will be showing them that you are capable of funding your education and now let's go to the next part next part is the best colleges to do your bachelor's of architecture plus the fees that's the most important part i'm just saying this continuously because it's very expensive guys so the first university over here is university of toronto and this university is one of the best universities in canada for architecture there are other universities also that will be coming on later but uh, this is also a very good university the cost of education over here for per year is 47000 dollars and for four years you will be paying this cost so think about it and uh, you can mention in the comment section like you know what do you think about the costing of bachelors of architecture and the requirement is again 75% or 70% 70% is the minimum but 75% is mentioned on the website 
Next university is also one of the best universities for architecture that is University of Waterloo. Again, the uh, architecture education is for four years. The fees is around $37,000, a bit lesser than University of Toronto, but uh, still quite high. And the minimum expectations of percentage would be around 70%. Now, going ahead, this university is one of the best plus it is the lowest costing university in Canada that I have found till now. This university is University of McGill and the cost of this university is around 18 to 19 thousand dollars. The course is of four years and the minimum percentage that you will need is 70 percent. Now going on ahead Next university is Carlton University. This is here nearby only. And uh, the cost of education over here is again $40,000, $40,000. And the minimum uh, percentage that we will require is from 65 to 85% or higher, whatever it is. So that is very important. Portfolio is also important. Next is Laurentian University. This university will be pretty expensive it is also $45,000 per year fees four year course and the other university that is on my list is University of British Columbia one of my favorite university plus the weather in British Columbia is also pretty nice I would say better than Ottawa the winters are not that cold but uh, yeah, it's Canada. You have to deal with winters. The cost of education in British Columbia is around $40,000 plus again 75% minimum requirement is there. So these were the major universities that you can apply your bachelor's of architecture from. And guys, if you have any other doubts or any other queries about bachelor's of architecture or any other suggestion or comment about fees of bachelor's of architecture in Canada, go ahead and mention it in the comment section. And guys, I'm always here to reply and to solve your queries. Only thing that I require is your support. So guys, go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. And guys, see you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.